Hey guys, Hayden here again from Alarm System Store, and today we're going to be adding four wire smokes to our DSC Neo system. Uh, we're also going to be adding an EOLR1, and what this is is a power supervision relay that allows you to monitor power along your smoke chain. You're going to need a 5.6K ohm resistor at the end of the line. Uh, let's hop over to the table, and uh, I'll start wiring it up and show you how it's done. So for four wire smoke installations, that you're going to be using all four of these wires. Now, if we're going to be using PGM2, we're going to do aux plus for the red. That's where all of our power comes from. Black is going to go to PGM2. And these two are going to be our zone wires, so we're just going to hook them to zone 1. Um, so you want to use your white or yellow for your power, or your zone wire. And then the green is going to be your common or your ground. All right, we're going to go ahead and start hooking up our smoke detectors. So we got two four wires here. Now on a smoke detector, you're going to have multiple terminals. So as you go around clockwise, this very first terminal here is going to be the power in. Second terminal is going to be the power out. Third one is going to be the negative. And then these two are going to be your zone contact wires. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our red wire from the panel and our red wire is going to go to the power in, black wire is going to go to the negative, and then our two zone contact wires are going to go to these last two terminals here. So this is what you should have at the end after you've wired your first smoke. Now we're going to go ahead and hook up our second smoke. So, so we got our second wire for our second smoke here. So on this one, it's going to be almost the same, but for our power wire, our red wire, we're going to be using the second terminal, the power out. So the red wire is going to go here and then black, and then white, green, and then when we connect it to the next one, the power out from this one is going to go to the power in of the next smoke. And this is what it's going to look like as you go down the line of your four wire smokes. So we got our power in from the panel here on this very first terminal. Power out is going to have the red wire going to the second smoke. Two blacks, two yellows, two whites, and then two green wires. So now we're going to wire up the second smoke the same way we did the first. So like I said, red is going to go on the positive in, which is the first terminal. And this is what your second one's going to look like, just like the first. Okay, so I went ahead and put a resistor on this as well. You'll have to have a resistor on your four wire smoke here across the two zone terminals. That's a 5.6K resistor for DSC. Uh, it's going to be green, blue, red, and gold. Um, now, if all you have is just smokes connected, then that's all you're going to need. This setup right here. Now, what we do recommend putting on your system is this module right here. This is an EOLR1 power supervision relay. What this does is monitors the power that goes to these smokes. Mm -hmm. So, this resistor works well for watching the zone terminals but there's no way to monitor power on a four wire smoke because they are separate wires. So I'm going to install this EOLR1 and if power does happen to go out along this circuit, this is gonna catch it and it's gonna set off the trouble for the smoke zone. 
That way you know if you're losing power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a separate wire. So what we have here is just another four wire connection. We're going to do the exact same thing we did when we were coming out of this first one. So power is going to go on the second terminal, negative on the negative terminal, and then your two zone contact wires. I'm also going to be removing this resistor because it's going to go in the line on this power supervision relay. Okay, so we got our two smokes hooked up and we got another wire coming out of the, the second smoke. So now we're gonna take our four wires and we're gonna connect them to the EOLR1 using the wire nuts that come with it. So red is gonna go to red and black is going to go to black. And the yellow and green are going to go on the two purple wires. Now, if you're using resistors on your green wire, you are going to want to connect the resistor to the purple wire, like so with the wire nut, and then you're going to want to connect the res other end of the resistor to the green wire. And that is going to give you your resistance for the power supervision relay. Now, I'm just going to wrap these up. I'm not actually going to crimp them or put anything on them. I'm just going to be simulating. So it's a little bit messy, but you get the idea. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our smokes, we're going to go ahead and hook them in, and then we're going to do our programming for setting up the zone and the PGM. So, now that we have everything connected and wired up, I actually haven't had this connected to the system yet, so I'll, I'll be right back. I'm going to connect it to the system, power down, plug everything in, and then, then we'll do the programming. So, now that we're back, I am going to go into programming. So your star 8 installer code, 5555 is the default, and then we're going to go to 001, and we're going to set up zone 1, because that's what we have it wired to, as a fire zone. So that is going to be a 008 standard fire. So hit star, we're going to back out, and then we're going to go to 009. So we connected these to PGM2, so we're going to scroll over to PGM2. And mine's already set up that way, but you're going to want to set it as a 103, which is a sensor reset. And what that allows you to do is, since these are normally open contacts and power is running through them all the time, this allows you to reset your four-wire smokes by using a command on the keypad. So, since that is set as a sensor reset, I'm going to hit star, and we're going to back all the way out to the menu, or the, the main screen. And so, as you can see, I don't know, probably be kind of hard to tell, but these green lights are flashing. That means that they are powered on. Now, to do the system sensor reset, it's going to be star 7 2. And it's going to say output deactivated. Oh, my wires came undone here. That's why that trouble popped up. So, as long as those stay connected and your resistor is crimped in line, then you'll be good to go. So now what we're going to do is simulate power being cut from one of these smokes. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this red wire here. So 
as soon as that power wire was cut, the trouble popped up. So if we check the trouble, device faults, oop, hit the wrong button. Zone trouble is going to be a fire trouble. Now, that is because this EOLR1 is telling the system that it does not read full power all the way to the end of the line. If we hooked this up without it, then it would not show anything. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. I'll, I'll be right back. All right. So I've removed the power supervision relay. And if we take this off real quick, you can see that the power wire is not connected to this last smoke. But no trouble is showing up on the keypad. And that is because the only lines being monitored to these four wire smokes is the zone wiring. So if power, like you can tell that this isn't powered because this light isn't coming on, but it's not actually being monitored and most people aren't gonna notice a green light that flashes every second, every five seconds not coming on. So the EOL R1 is a great way to monitor your power and make sure that your four wire smokes stay connected no matter what. So as you can see, four wire smokes aren't terribly complicated. Um, I hope I explained the power supervision relay well enough. Uh, basically, there's just no way to monitor power on a four wire smoke. Um, if a line gets cut or shorted in any way, you need one of those power supervision relays at the end so that you can tell whenever something like that has happened. Um, in the future, we're gonna be coming out with an RRS mod video, and what that is is a reversing relay. Basically sets off all your smokes at the same time, as long as they have sounders in them. So that is an available module, and I'm going to link that down in the description after that video is published. Um, so keep an eye out for that if you wanna add that to your system. Um, otherwise, you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, tell us what you want, tell us what you'd like to see, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.